Sometimes you feel like a nut. Good morning, farmers. The question of the day, what do we got for jobs? Let's find out together. Uh, anything? Let's see, let me guess. Ooh, a plow a field job, finally. Fix a building, fix a building. Ooh, two plow the field jobs. Well, you know what I just realized? Our plow is down here. <laughs> and our tractor's here. Uh, I say we jump up here first. Let's do fix the building jobs. Get those taken care of. Let's see, they're at the church, it looks like. So let's take a journey through the church. Uh, one thing I do know is I probably need to eat something. Uh, just before I went to bed, quote unquote, last night in game and woke up just now. I noticed I was hungry. So I did go down to the pantry and the wife had made a burger and a, and well, two fish, deep fried fish or whatever. What's it called? Baked fish. So she's making some meals still. Uh, is it to... No, they are at the church. So I'll probably have to go stare at a corner of a wall somewhere. And it looks like we're plowing two fields today. Yes, I know I'm hungry. Amen to that. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, it's David. Hey, David. Always late, never on time. Same story. Every Screw you, I'm late. It's flipping frickin' what time is it? Quarter after six in the morning. Turd. Hello there. Hello? Yeah, hello, yourself. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? I think I'm late, never on time. Eh, 320 is not bad for a house inspection. And at least it's not too far. Sneak in here. Is it the building that I stare at the corner? Nope, this is the one I just stare at the, the blue sky. And looks like I triggered it. Yep, I did. So here's a quick 600 social points. Out of the hundreds of thousands that we need. Thank you. Here's something for you. A little slow reacting there, so I was like, uh, am I getting something? So sometimes this other one that we're going to is the 760 euros and uh, uh, whatever the social points are, like 15, 20, 40, something like that. Well, you could have got an extra half hour in bed, but, you know, David just thinks, you know, we're late and never on time. So, I I couldn't sleep an extra half hour. Alright, alright. We're going to eat something here. Uh, we'll just have the cheeseburger just to make our inventory a little slider. Actually, I don't think it's this cheeseburger. It just says hamburger. I don't know why we can't have cheese. Uh, we got milk and, and eggs. All right, where where is it? Oh wait, I didn't check the map to see if they're on the move. Oh no, they're back here somewhere. They're all down by the barn. One day it'll all be. Don't jit me, Frank. 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 There's no weeds there to pull up. There you go. <laughs> it's almost like he heard me. It's like, oh, there isn't. Okay. Great to see you again. Yeah, can I do this house inspection for you for, you know, like se 720 or 760? Got anything for me? A building on my farm needs some care. What do you think? I think it's a really good idea. Oh, 300. Come on, Frank. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. I know I've checked it like, you know, probably 50 times at this point. <laughs> I, I do have to sit in here for a while because... I didn't have far to go, so this can take a second to trigger. There it goes. Thank you. Here's something for you. All right. Not the greatest of uh, house inspections that we had to do. Uh, somewhere in here. 
Wrong one, but close enough. Let me out. Game seems to be lagging. Not lagging, but... Oh, I guess, yeah, lagging is the term I should be using. Oh, yeah, I did say I need to check this and... Let me in. What the heck here? It's a little low, so we'll activate it. So what I need to do now is we're going to hop into our tractor because it's filthy. Oh yeah, I didn't check to see... We only got one worker at the moment. Uh, it's plowed. Let's get someone to cultivate that. So what I need to do now is I gotta come way down here because I was thought I had a plan about plowing and cultivating this field first now the problem is I need to plow and our two jobs are here and here I'm gonna put a marker up there uh, so what lupine lupine actually I need people to uh, yes did I go back in the inventory yeah the inventory the map too fast Pick the higher worker, plow that field. So I'm going to go all the way down there and grab the plow, and then I'm going to travel all the way back up there to find out what field we're doing. So, you know me, I'll see you in a second. Here comes our worker from that direction to plow by the farm. Running into a telephone pole. Nice work, genius. <laughs> I'll see you in a second. I can see our plow. That little blue speck. I even forgot what color I painted it, but it looks like it's like a sky blue or Wow, okay. Come on, magic plow. Wow, does that stick out like a sore thumb? Alright, let's go. We gotta go two and a half meters up that way. Seemed like a long ride, and it was. <laughs> Even with the shortcuts I'm taking. Let's go find out what kind of a job we're doing. One thing I will say though, if if they start giving me like small fields to do, I'm gonna buy like the small fields that aren't worth it. And hopefully we can hire workers to work in those fields. Uh, hey Tony. You look like this guy Frank I just did a house inspection for. Boy, this town needs a new barber. Just saying. Care to talk? Not really. Good morning. You sound like Frank as well. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? There's a field nearby that needs plowing. Will you do it? Wow, he does multiple... Uh, ooh, okay. That's nice. Sounds good. I'll take care of this. It's not a big field either. I think it's going to be like a two hectare size field. Where are we going? Really? But this will be 3,000 social points, which is the realm of what we really need to get into. That's what we're looking for this year. We get a lot of those jobs. I'm hoping to get some cultivating jobs this year. I've only done one cultivating job, and I think we did it last season. And that was a fun job because the field had a crop in it, <laughs> and we harvested the field. Now this is another thing I hope that, that uh, they change the new update. See, I'm in someone else's field. I can purchase it. I can see the size and I can see it's got peas in it. It doesn't say if it was plowed, cultivated, or if it's been fertilized. Well, it doesn't like it's had any of that. Uh, so this field is just a hectare and a half, so not that big of a field. So it shouldn't take us too long. And it's 8 o'clock, well, not almost 9 o'clock in the morning. Because we do have another field that we need to plow today. 
Uh, by the old plow marks, looks like I need to be... Well, that pushes downhill a little bit. I need to be right about here. And I'm hitting the wrong buttons because... Farming simulator? Hello? <laughs> Uh, yes, make sure I put turn on the front axle to help us steer this thing a little bit better. And it keep, keeps wanting to push the front of the tractor to the right. R and then Z. There we go. It's been a while, actually, since I played, and I was like, I don't remember what buttons to press in Farming Simulator. It screwed me all up. Or you can look at it as Farmer's Dynasty has screwed me up. One thing with this game I haven't checked is... Because we didn't have a lot of these options when the game first started. And I just got used to them because all I was playing was Farmer's Dynasty. I wonder if we can change, uh, rechange the mapping of the keys. I'm sure that's something you gotta do it at the main screen. But once I get rocking and rolling with uh, lifting the plow and rotating, it's not much of a problem. But this is what I've been looking forward to, kind of, the last couple of days, even though plowing is not my favorite kind of thing. But it's the social points. So when I see how much they're paying me, in case you haven't heard me say this before or don't know it yet so when you do a job you see how much they're paying you if you double what they pay you that's how many social points you get and I remember when this game first came out plowing was was sort of like oh I don't want to do it we got paid crap for plowing I mean it, prices were terrible but I know I did it anyways because you know we all wanted the new stuff. We thought, oh, this is just the way it is. And the people started really complaining on the forums and Dev said, all right, we'll fix it. And the pricing is so much better. For example, like the, the big, as I call it, the big field, the seven and a half hectare field. The first time I got offered to plow that field, it was like 800 bucks, 1600 social points. And I was like, eh, I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> and I didn't do it. I did it when they up uh, they changed the the pricing of plowing. Now I think you get like what twenty two hundred dollars something like that, and of course you'll get like forty four hundred social points. You should for how long it takes you. And I did that with the old plow, and the jack bear, and I had to do it. Well, one and a half times because I got halfway through, and the game crashed on me. That was fun. I'm glad I wasn't recording back then because I know I said a few choice words and my neighbors down the street which is like you know a quarter of a mile from me heard me so not really I don't know but <laughs> I think you get what I'm trying to say there gotta be careful of uh, this field though luckily there's no crops growing yet so we'll just uh, turn around in their field with no problem How are we doing? All right, we're about 20% done. So let me get plowing away on this field. And I'll bring you back when we're near the end. And we'll go talk to... Was it John? Well, we'll go talk to whatever his name is. And uh, we'll get some social points. So I shall bring you back in a second. We are at the edge of the field, which means we are just about done. The one thing I noticed around here, all the fields, you can see like the field we're in, with like the straw on top of the field, you can tell it hasn't been plowed yet. All the fields around here looks like they've been plowed already. So I don't think we're going to get many jobs up here. But if that's the case, you know, it is what it is. Maybe we'll get some cultivating jobs up here. You can see all the fields around us look like they've been plowed. Which kind of sucks. 
I know the first couple days there were plow jobs. But we were too busy harvesting our fields, helping out the workers. Well, we were doing just the fields that we had to anyways. We'd have to do those fields at some point. Man, this field has been fighting me all the entire job, trying to turn to the right. Looking for 96%. We are all done. I can keep plowing because there's no crops to destroy or anything like that, so nothing's going to happen there. I was going to say the arrow didn't change, though. It says I'm all done. Yeah, so I'm hoping in the next update, like when I go up to a field, it tells me everything about the field info before I buy it. I mean, we know it's been plowed. Well, it looks like maybe it has. I don't know. It's hard to tell. But uh, let's go get our 3,000 social points. And then we'll head over to the northeast part of the map and see what kind of a job we got over there. Like I said, if we find any fields that are small, I'll take the job. We'll do the job in the field, but then we'll buy the field. So I have to go back and work on small fields. You kind of look like my wife with glasses. 3,300 social points. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so workers, yes, we're, we're running out, we ran out of workers, so, <laughs> let's see, so I know we got, uh-oh, well, that was interesting, I thought the game crashed, it didn't, I have no idea what happened there, maybe because it was saving while I was in the map trying to hire a worker, The good news is, though, if I, I was thinking, like, well, if it crashed, I'm not going to get too upset because the game just saved from doing a quest. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you for that. So, wait a few seconds. Uh, yeah, I don't know where I'm going, first of all. Uh, we're going here, dummy. And now can I hire someone to cultivate this field? And now my mouse is doing that weird thing. Holy crap, so much at once. So another, oh man, two kilometers that way, huh? No problemo. We'll get over there at some point. So we got three workers. Uh, so that's plowed, cultivated. So now we got to hire someone. You know, we'll put soy in this field, just for the heck of it. Because those are fields I'll probably, I'm, I probably won't be harvesting anyways. Because at some point, we got, we will be working on our own fields. The jobs will dwindle out to where it's just house inspections and uh, transport jobs, which won't take us long. It's the, you know, the plow jobs and cultivating jobs that we're kind of looking for that will chew up our day. So like that field there, we start at 9 o'clock in the morning and it's almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon. But uh, I'll meet you over the northeast part of the map and we'll talk to whoever it is and we'll see what kind of job they got. What's our fuel look like? 45%, more than enough. So yeah, I'll see you shortly. Arriving at Mary Waters. Never heard of her. I know a few Marys. I don't know anyone with last name Waters. I know there is people last name Waters, but I don't know anyone personally. All right, who's got... Uh, looks like Brandon has... Where is he? There he is. Oh, you scared me. You look like William a little bit. You got the zombie eye in one of them. Holy crap. Hello. 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 Uh, yes, we need some work. I am looking for work. Got anything for me? There's a field nearby that needs plowing. Will you do it? Kind of a small field, must be. So it will good. be 1,600 social points. Where to, sir? Not too far behind us. We got a plow Brandon, apparently. Did you see that car come around that corner? Jeez. I was thinking it was this field to the right. That field is kind of a pain in the butt to plow. But the second I saw it was $800. I'm like, well, I know it's not that field.
Looks like a hectare sized field. Somewhere in that area. Actually it's just a point eight hectare size field. Part of me is thinking about buying this field, but the other part of me is saying yeah yeah. yeah. Seems like I'm micromanaging fields right now as it is. It's not too small it's not small enough to where it's not worth coming over and doing. So yeah, we'll pass in this field for now. 1600 social points is 1600 social points. So that field behind us is plowed. That one over there looks like it's plowed. We may not get many plowing jobs this spring. We may have missed them all. But we should be able to rip through this field in no time. I mean, one pass is almost like 9%, I would think. As long as we don't get run over by no vehicles when we're going back and forth. They usually do stop. I don't have that problem like a farming sim to where they're not that bad. At least the the AI in farming sim seems to stay on the road. They're on a rail more more or less. The AI traffic in this game drives like they're driving on black ice. With oil on the road and grease on the steering wheel. But I am still kind of curious though how like that we I when I went to the pantry before I started recording so uh, I, I kind of need some more food. I'm just curious if the wife made anything. I'm like, okay, she's making cheeseburgers and uh, baked fish. And the other day she made pizzas. I'm trying to think, where is she? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But in a few weeks' time, we'll have zucchini and tomatoes in there. We got pumpkins in there. I don't know. What, I don't know if she's making things to bake fish with pumpkin in it. I have no idea. Not really sure I remember how that tier 3 cooking goes because we can't do it, only the wife can, so I can't really see what the ingredients are to make stuff. Could you just imagine though if we own every field on this map how it would be like trying to manage them all at this point? Man this save game really once once I get the million social points I may just buy every field because I mean, at that point I, you know why I would have no desire to plow other people's fields or work in other people's fields unless the new update brings other missions and stuff. Because you can always do fix the building jobs and transport jobs if you still want to get more social points with people. I know they say the more social points you have the more friendly people become with you but I mean, you're seeing the same thing I am. I, I don't know how many social points is enough. I mean, I got 700,000, which is, you know, it's not the most that some people probably have, but then again, some people still don't just have that neutral face looking at me like, yeah, what's your point? You're a multimillionaire and a lot of social points, but yeah, I don't care about you. So I'm not really sure how the social thing is working in this game. It's like the same thing. I, I ask questions in the forum to a couple guys I know have a lot of hours. I'm like, can anyone gift thing? Because I've never been able to hand out gifts. And they said, oh yeah, they can hand out gifts. I've never been able to. I've never been seen the option. And I used to carry around all the good stuff like chocolates. And for the ladies, I used to carry perfume and uh, the rings.
I carried a lot of tier 3 food with me at one point. And no one ever said that I could hand him a gift. But I was thinking also, when I was plowing the last field, I think when I go wash the tractor this time, it may be time to change up the paint on it again. Just to make it feel like we bought a new tractor. I mean, we can still go buy a new tractor. We got the smaller one. I'm not really sure I know why I'd want a couple tractors at this point. Other than I could buy it and put it somewhere for to teleport to, like a bus bus station, bus stop, whatever they call them here. I did read it actually on the forum. There's a couple players that still love using the Jack Bear to do field work with, and I was like, yeah, more power to you. <laughs> I found that uh, being a, a basically a three-wheel tractor, that front nose, that tire, when you're trying to plow with it, always seems to get dragged in to where you don't want it to get dragged into, and it's just a pain in the butt. So when you're in the end of this job as well, I know it says only 71%, but you can see it's not that much more before we're done. This is what I'm saying, like the house jobs for us right now are, are the best ones because you can see we're gonna, we're gonna get 1600 social points for plowing this field. And yeah, it's gonna take me, I don't know what, 10 minutes, I think don't really time myself doing it right now I you know if you get a job the good house inspection jobs that pay 760 you just gotta walk in stand in the building for a second and it's done but if you haven't done the building yet it probably would take you like two or three minutes to maybe fix up the building so to me the plowing is still not quite worth like it is to fix a building But I hope with the new update, and again, I'm starting to get anxious about updates again, that uh, it's not just fix the building, but you can upgrade buildings. I hope that's part of a thing. Otherwise, the only thing you need at the building materials store is when you want to upgrade your own house. Which, in case you also didn't know, I get on this tip a couple times, but some people don't watch all my episodes, is... Make sure you upgrade your chicken coop and the couch uh, barn with new material because if you do so, they'll actually produce more eggs and milk for you. If you just fix up the buildings from the get-go, the most your cows will produce will be like uh, two milk and the chickens, the most they'll lay is like two eggs. If you upgrade it to new material, the cows will produce three, you know, up to three milk, and the chickens can produce up to three eggs. So it is worthwhile to kind of upgrade your your homestead. Is it a necessity right off? I would probably actually say not really. You might want to, because now the way it is with the building material. Mm -hmm. Before, the building material was unlimited. Now it's 100 per stack. So you may want to save your money to buy more fields because more fields means, you know, more crops. More crops mean more cash. And speaking of more cash, let's go get ours. I uh, should be able to go around that way. Yeah, we'll get our, get our cash, get our job, and I think we're going to call it a day because it's uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll wait for another day where the jobs aren't as long and we'll have to do some more slurry spreading. Yeah, I got something for you too, dude. Thank you very much, sir. So those guys are still cultivating. This guy is ready to... Here, why don't you put some loop pine in that field? 
I'm basically just having them plow lupine, not plow, seed, lupine, and peas. If soy paid a little bit more, which it does pay really well, but it yields like crap, man. I don't know if anyone else is playing the game has found out. Sometimes I wonder if the, if the crops don't yield better during different parts of the season. For, for a minute there, I was looking at the AI car in front of us. I thought he was floating off the ground. But sometimes I think different crops yield better during different times of the season. I, I've seen that a couple of times thinking, oh, this crop yields well, then it yields like crap. Then I said, well, I'll just plant it again. And next time I yield it, I'm like, oh, it's yielding pretty well. Oh, so there's a there's a field that we could possibly plow, or two of them we could possibly plow in the future. Now there's a pile up. I'm gonna give these guys plenty of room. It's like this field on the left has been plowed along with that one. And the car that was stuck behind us, someone just teleported in over here. And another one. Come on, you don't drive that slow. There you go. So we still do have two fields of grass. The grass doesn't really die, it just has to start regrowing, I guess is the term. I don't know why it's not like the rest of the grass around here. But it's the way the coating is, so it's fine. So I think we're going to park their, our tractor and our plow next to the garage, and when we begin the next day, if we get another plow job, we'll wa well, yeah, I'll wash it and repaint it. We'll repaint it a different color. Um, can I sneak through? I think I can. I know the track again. I'm just thinking about the plow itself. There, I turned it just right. And we'll park it right here. But actually, what we'll do is. You know, you gotta get the front door looking halfway decent. Come on. Hello? There it goes. You know, when your neighbors show up, you don't want them walking in tall grass, do you? Basically, I just need to get the edges because usually what I do is I take the tractor with the, the harrow and go around at this, you know, it's wider, it's quicker. And you don't get motion sickness of watching me do this for 20 or 30 minutes trying to get the yard looking halfway decent. along the fence line because the harrow can only get so close. At least start making the yard look halfway decent. If only the wife pulling up weeds actually did something. Now I'm not going to tell my wife that, but... I'm crazy, but I'm not that crazy. Hey, honey, I'm actually working around the house. What do you think about that? Here, I'll do it around the chicken coop door as well. Actually, there is no door here, but... Well, there is. To my, to my right, there is. So how many have looked away so far? Because <laughs> uh, some people do get 
some, there's actually been a couple of people posting that when they weed whack that uh, they, they can't do it for too long because their motion sickness gets the best of them. Yeah, that looks decent. Yeah, and sometimes once I start weed whacking, you know, it's kind of hard to stop. Could you see how nice it looks? And it's like, oh, let me just do this little section here. Then you're like, well, if I just do this little section here, that's one less section I have to do later on. So you just keep going and keep going. But we're getting around the front door and around the cow door and the chicken door. So, you know, the wife doesn't have to walk in tall, walk in tall grass. There we go. That's a good start. Yeah, the cow think, thinks so. But, that will do it for today, guys. Like always, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. That's got a ways to go for it to fill up. And, uh, yeah, at least we got some plow jobs today. Which was nice. I know it kind of feels weird me saying so. Uh, so we got up to 715,000 social points. So we got, I don't know, what did we get? Like uh, four, four and a half thousand social points today, somewhere around there. And of course we get the cash, whatever. I, I'm not paying attention to the cash this year. But yeah, hopefully, well, what's the weather like as well? Weather looks good. No rain in the forecast. At this point, we don't want rain because when it rains, we can't get jobs, but if it does rain, you know, I, I, we got tons of fields of our own to work in if we need to. But looks like for a couple days we'll be able to do some jobs. So hopefully we get some more plowed jobs, but if not, oh well. See what tomorrow brings. But uh, like I said, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time on the day in the farm. But until then, have a good one.